So, let's recap a bit. First, Mark and Adam Harrys are crazy people. Mark has a website where he claims to be a doctor that knows about the afterlife. And Adam has started more crowdfunding campaigns than any other individual I've seen before. In the last video, I covered just how crazy they are. However, I didn't really take a look at their project. We're fixing that now. Hello. My name is Mark Harris. And my name is Adam Harris. And we are the joint team members of Project Skylaunch, which is a mission to send our Valiant One probe into outer space and beyond. Outer space and beyond. Tell me something, Adam. What's beyond outer space? See, this is a huge problem I see with these types of scamming Kickstarters. They use words that they don't truly know the meaning of, and due to this, they come up with crazy buzzwords and phrases like outer space and beyond, without having a lot of meaning behind it. It's just meant to sound good to the prospective sucker. With your support, we will be launching from Dartmoor in the UK in May 2018. Our mission is unique from any other outer space attempt because we are launching the Valiant rocket from 150,000 feet using a polyethylene balloon with helium that is non-flammable. Alright, there's an issue. They said they wanted to reach a height of 150,000 feet with this helium balloon. That's, uh, kind of impossible. You see, the highest a helium balloon has ever gotten is 113,000 feet. Recently, two Englishmen attempted to break that record and aimed to hit 120,000, but a problem during launch put a stop to that idea. You see, balloons rise due to the gas inside being lighter than air. Helium has a max set height it can hit. You can only get so far up before the air becomes too thin and you just won't be any lighter. Hydrogen balloons kind of solve this issue due to the ability to heat up, but even they can only go so far. The current record for that is 173,900 feet. But keep in mind they want to use a helium balloon, not hydrogen. What they just said is impossible. The balloon will be connected to our secure and balanced sky launch platform. The Valiant rocket will launch from the edge of space, or what's called the lower mesosphere, which contains only 1-2% air, meaning that there will be little or no drag as the rocket accelerates into the vacuum of space. After the launch, the Valiant One's probe's final orbital escape velocity from Earth will be an amazing over 32,000 miles per hour. As well as the lack of air, this high velocity is achieved because the Valiant rockets and platform are made from very light and extremely strong carbon-based material. That's... uh... That's not it, right? That can't be. Please tell me this isn't what they want to send into space. That's got to be some kind of prop, right? Like a small model that shows how the larger one might be built? Oh, God. Guys, I have a question for you. If this was just a model, a prop, why would they be showing us how light it is? Why would the light weight of the model be important to show us? I honestly don't think it's a prop. I think this is the actual thing. Alright, time to get to work. First, they say it's made out of a very lightweight carbon material. That could be anything. A crazy amount of things are carbon-based. Heck, humans are carbon-based. Did you become a necromancer and make this out of human flesh? Nah, you didn't, because that is definitely some kind of fiberglass or some type of cheap plastic. I'd like to see that survive the near 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit that rockets need to be. The rocket's engines will also be very light and powerful, made with a special oxygenated solid fuel mix. You're... you're making a solid-fuel rocket. 
to launch your space probe. Alright, time to get even more freaking technical due to these idiots not being able to Google the Wikipedia page for why you don't do this shit. Solid fuel rockets were all there were up until the 20th century where liquid fuel became way easier to create and thus became the go-to. Liquid fuel proved to be way easier to handle and due to that became the norm. Solid fuel burns much faster than liquid fuel, weighs more, and is more volatile. This fiberglass piece of plastic crap won't even last five seconds with a solid fuel source. Dear God, man, Google is your friend. At least know your shit before you try and scam people out of their hard-earned money. The Valiant One Pro will be solar-powered in combination with lightweight and high-tech new graphene continuous life power storage. Valiant One will send back HD video and images of Earth and outer space that have never been seen before. Valiant One will first reach Mars, where Valiant One will use Mars's orbit as a gravitational assist, otherwise known as a gravitational slingshot, to boost velocity and head further out of our solar system. Alright, this is where I'm stopping their video. I wanted to get to the point of them talking about using the gravitational assist with Mars. Why? Because the way they say they're going to do it is, well, hear it again. Valiant One will first reach Mars, where Valiant One will use Mars's orbit as a gravitational assist, otherwise known as a gravitational slingshot, to boost velocity and head further out of our solar system. See this? That's not how it works at all. A gravity assist, which, yes, is also called a gravitational slingshot, is just that. A slingshot. Mars itself is moving in its orbit, the probe would fly by, and then it would fly off in about a 90 degree angle. See this? This is an image that Wikipedia uses to show exactly what a gravity assist looks like. The black dot is the planet, and the blue dot is whatever is using the planet's gravity to do this. See how sharp the turn is? That's why they call it a slingshot. Now, let me be clear. It is possible to calculate the correct distance from the planet how fast the probe would already be going, and even the exact position Mars would be in when the probe reaches the planet. This is a thing that you have to do in order to pull off what they say they want to do. But they didn't do that. They haven't done any math. Want to know how I can say that with such certainty? It's because they state that a risk is that the probe might crash into Mars due to, and I quote, Mars's gravity might be too strong. So, you're telling me you know how to calculate a gravitational slingshot, but you don't know how to factor in Mars's gravity? A constant number that never changes? Okay, buddy. As extraterrestrial life in outer space is a strong possibility, Valiant One will continuously transmit peaceful messages in Morse code about Earth and its inhabitants. The Valiant One Pro will also contain a lightweight one terabyte flash drive. As extraterrestrial life in outer space is a strong possibility, as extraterrestrial life in outer space is a strong possibility, strong possibility, and we're done here.